this video, I will wrap up the message, get up, pick up your life and walk. This video is intended to help you to get the most important lessons from the Gospel of John, chapter 5, verses 1 to 9. So if you have watched the four previous messages about this text, you will remember that the first message introduced the story of Jesus who at the pool of Bethesda encountered and cured a man who had been waiting for healing for 38 years. This second message showed us that there are consequences of being healed by God and that the first one is commitment. Then the third message revealed that we will never find God's healing where there is no truth. And finally, the fourth message taught us that God's healing generates forgiveness because it is a two-way action. Almost daily, we all need to both forgive and be forgiven. In other words, these four messages have taught us that a relationship with God without commitment, without the truth and forgiveness is not enough to fight for life. Okay, so what do we do with all of this? Can we simply pick up our life and walk the same way that man picked up his mat and started to walk? That's the very important question. Liberation is the answer. Jesus is the liberator of our lives. He motivates us to fulfill all the responsibilities that we think are impossible to achieve. And from this liberation given by Jesus, we can make finally a commitment to God through the knowledge of his truth, which in turn helps us to forgive and understand that we too are forgiven. Believing in Jesus and walking according to his words means expanding our worldview. That is precisely why the Apostle Paul says, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then and only then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing and perfect will. Isn't that fantastic? I think that's great. This story of Jesus' encounter with the man by the pool of Bethesda helps us to understand that we must get rid of prejudices. That is the only way we become part of God's will. Once freed, God calls us to bring freedom to other people. Because without intimacy and understanding of the Word of God, we will be slaves to our own sins. Freedom and joy are found only in Jesus. Legalism, mysticism and superstition about God's truth and will are just different forms of the same prison. We change the style of handcuff, we get new paint for the cell, but you know, the prisoner, well, it's still the same. Do you want to get well? God is asking you right now as you watch this short video. You need to say, yes, Lord, I want to receive your healing. So get rid of any thought or word or attitude that is keeping you from making a commitment, from understanding the truth of God and from forgiving other people. Do you think nobody gives you the attention you deserve? Do the people around you just offend you? Do you believe that you have more struggles and difficulties and suffering than everyone around you? So wait on God. Seek His word. Seek His power that manifests in you. Be a witness to God's glory. God wanted to heal that man. You know that. And God wants to heal you. He knows you often drag yourself along. You feel weak. You think you are useless. You think it is hard to believe that He still loves you, right? When all the years of your life seem wasted, when sin has crippled your body and, and your soul, you feel devalued and question why God will be interested in you. That is when you need to say, Lord, I want to believe you. Help me to believe that you are powerful enough to set me free. Lord, I want to obey your word. I want to walk with you. God's love and mercy are revealed in the cry for liberation, offered by all who are humble, for all who are sincere in spirit and heart and seek the truth. You know, no man or woman who walks with God is left without answers. Because in my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. So the question again, do you want to get well? Well, then get up. Pick up your life and start to walk. We have finished our journey through the story of the encounter between Jesus and the man by the pool of Bethesda. 
but many more stories are coming from God to your heart. So please stay tuned for the upcoming messages. And if you liked this message, consider subscribing to our channel. You can also bring this message to others, perhaps enjoying the video together and discussing it with your friends. Looking forward to seeing you again to explore further the words that changed my life. All the best to you and your family. Bye now.